was popping people you can go ahead and skip to 11 14 for the rewards but if you want to see some crucible gameplay you can keep watching so for those of you who stayed um this is just a little bit of gameplay from the crucible uh i would have recorded the whole thing if i had the right setup for it but unfortunately i don't um i don't make any money off these videos and i can't record a two hour long screen recording on my phone um i also don't have any streaming setup so i couldn't stream this um, while i was doing it uh however i did record um this fight uh the gwen master fight and then unfortunately i forgot to record the kang fight so i'm very sorry about that um i finished the kang fight and i was like oh shoot i forgot to screen record that but yeah um it is what it is uh overall i thought the crucible was decently hard um there's definitely some fights that i use like five revives on and then a lot of fights where i didn't use anything on so um you know here you know we used a revive um two revives actually um i cut out the second fight from this video because i got clapped pretty quickly um but yeah so the few fights that really were annoying me the magneto fight was very annoying um i used tigra because i my plan was to tigra through his special attacks but unfortunately i'm not that great with tigra and i'm also not that great at dodging magneto's special too so i kept getting clapped i think i used like five revives on that i think i used like five revives on killmonger five revives on mr negative you know that was back-to-back -back fights that was very annoying um basically by the end of these runs i started to do a lot worse than i was doing at the beginning um just because uh each path took me about two hours maybe two and a half hours um i had boost running the entire time so i didn't really want to take a break and yeah uh the crucible it was very long total of like five hours i would say and uh a total of maybe 20 or 30 revives potentially um but all the revives i used were in my overflow so they were gonna expire anyways um i saved up like 10 revives um for the first path that were in overflow i think i had 10 or 12 and then um for the second path i i waited like a week in between paths so i could save up revives again so I had like another 10 in overflow. And then I also had the five revives that you get from beating the first path. So yeah, I ended up using all of those and then a little bit more. So probably about like 25 revives, I would say. Um, I know plenty of other YouTubers have probably done it in way less. Um, that's fine. I'm not the best player. Um, I don't play this game all the time. Um, also, it's not my full-time job like some of these other YouTubers. And I actually play other games um, way more than this one. But that's not an excuse. I'm just saying. Um, don't compare me to the other guys. Don't say I'm trash. Um, you know. Tried my best out here. But we ended up getting it done no unit spent obviously when i still have a bunch of revives left so i'm not too worried about it um as for the summer of suffering week two mole man i have not attempted it yet i will not be making a video on it because a i know it's not going to go well i don't really have any of the best counters ranked up 
I have Spider Ham at rank two. Um, and then other than that, the Mystics, I don't have any of the good counters. And the Mutants, I don't have any of the good counters either. So I honestly might not even do it. And yeah, don't expect to see a week two video for Summer of Suffering from me. Now back to the Crucible. It was nice um, going through this and fighting all the bosses from Act 7 again. Just because, you know, I'm doing my Act 7 guide videos right now. And it's nice going back to fight all the bosses. Um, just to get, you know, some familiarity with them, some practice in before I make the videos. Obviously, these versions are much harder. Maybe not much harder, but definitely harder than the ones that are in Act 7. Um, and yeah, so it was nice going back to fight them all. Now I know, you know, who to use, who not to use. And yeah, I can better help you guys uh, pick your teams and pick who the easy bosses are because I definitely know who the hard bosses are. But for this Gwen Master fight, I think I only used one revive, maybe two. Um, for the first Kang fight, I didn't use any revives. And for the superior Kang fight, I think I used only two revives. So uh, those fights weren't even the hardest ones for me. Like I said, Killmonger, Mr. Negative, Magneto. Uh, those are, you know, some of the most challenging fights for me. And uh, I did not enjoy them at all. I used CGR for Killmonger. He was gaining so much power. And then for Mr. Negative, I used Apocalypse. But I'm terrible with reverse controls. And I hate fighting Mr. Negative. And just like I said, for Magneto, I'm garbage at dodging a special too. So yeah, um, I seen some people do this uh, Crucible content like the day it came out and I'm pretty sure the juiced node was on for this fight. So I was expecting it to still be on because it's only fair, you know, that if some people got to complete this quest while the juice node was on, then they should leave it on for everybody else. But I guess I'm wrong. I came in here with Hercules expecting to nuke this down insanely fast with the juice node. And guess what? There's no juice node. So I just, I think that's pretty dirty from Kabam. Um, you know, that it's only one fight that it's affecting me, but still I could have easily got the solo if the juice node was on. And I just don't get how it's fair i get it wasn't supposed to be on in the first place but because some people got to complete it with that note on i feel like they should have just left it on for everybody else but it is what it is i guess and yeah i know a lot of people are also mad about them um not nerfing the serpent on defense and you know once again Kabam sucks. So yeah. Um, they never really do what anybody wants. And uh, it is what it is. So yeah. This fight's almost over. Um, and we're almost into the rewards. Because I didn't record any of the second path on accident. So yeah. Gwen Master... Not the easiest boss ever, but not the hardest. Um, especially this phase right here with the armor breaks. It's very annoying. Um, you have to keep her, like, away from you. So that way you can get the armor breaks and then attack her, knock her down. But it's hard to keep her away from you. And, uh, you know, while the timer is going down as well. You have to, like, keep intercepting to keep the timer um, from expiring. But then at the same time, you have to stay away from her. So it's like, you got to attack, but you got to stay away. It's pretty weird. Um, it's a weird fight design. But, yeah. I'll be making a video on this fight very soon. Because we're almost at the Gwen Master in my guide videos. 
and uh, yeah so just like that we're almost done you know I don't really care about the armor ups here I'm just trying to do damage and in this fight she keeps auto blocking me it's very annoying but I'm just gonna brute force my way through the end of this fight like I said at this point it's been like two and a half hours and I've had like a lot of deaths so I'm pretty mad and I just want to get this over with uh, but I am doing it for the rewards obviously very good rewards which we'll talk about um, but yeah we get two of those seven star reunion crystals if that's what you want to call them um the blue ones that have six champs in them we get two of those we get a titan crystal and then also in this video i'm opening up just a basic seven star crystal i am very close to another titan crystal but i don't have any way of getting titan shards so i couldn't put that in the video um i haven't opened it yet obviously but when i do i'll record it but yeah here we go so I opened this right away, just in case I got someone here that could help me with the second path. You know, I didn't want to wait to open it. So I was hoping for, like, Eye Hulk, because he can do some fights, or Venom Pool here. And we end up getting Man-Thing from our first one. Um, I'm not very happy about this, you know, not a great attacker. And on defense, he's kind of mid, unless it's crit me with your best shot, in which case he's very good. But if it's not crit me with your best shot, he's not very good. So yeah, and also, yeah, the rank 2-3 to three gem, which I kind of forgot about up until right now, just watching this back. But I have not rank 3 to anybody else yet. I really got to think about who I want to take up. But yeah, from this one, I'm really hoping for either Punisher 2099 i hulk or venom pool those are my top three um yeah let's see who we get and boom T punisher 2099 i'm actually very happy with that i know a lot of people like him he can be a bit of a pain on defense just because you're going to take a lot of block damage from the special attacks and he can really drag the fight on but yeah not really sure about his offensive capabilities, but I've seen some cool videos about him. Now for the selector. Will I choose Venom Pool? Will I choose Eye Hulk? And I am going to choose Eye Hulk. I don't have this guy ranked up as a 6 star. And I really haven't used him ever. So I'm picking him up right there. Because um, there's some fights that he can cheese usually. And yeah. Titan Crystal. Who do I want from this? I want Spider Punk. I want Spider Punk. I don't want Symbiote Supreme. I don't want Blade. So let's see who we get. And it is Superior Iron Man. Comment down below if you guys always get the like reworked champs. Because I feel like I always get the reworked champs. I never get the featured ones. I got Bullseye. But besides Bullseye, I've gotten Iron Man. I've gotten, you know, Colossus, who's not even a rework champ. He's just straight trash. And then, who else did I get? I don't know. I got somebody else that was an older champ as well. But yeah, basic 7-star crystal for you guys here. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on it. Comment down below what your favorite part was. And subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys again very soon. I'm not that happy about Strife either, but peace out.